Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Facts and Glitches, where we explore some facts and glitches I've learned from about 2,000 hours of speedrunning the game and from the help of some awesome people in my Discord. In Wild West, the back wall of the bedroom shown on screen does not line up with the rest of the building. At the end of Wild West, if you are shot off the ramp leading to the Colonel's house and are not moving, you will be clipped out of bounds. Unfortunately, this out of bounds is quite small and you are not able to get anywhere significant with it. Because the Garret in Wild West does so much damage on easy difficulty, hitting the enemies in the chest kills them in one shot. This in turn does not break the stealth that you have at the start of the level. Some windows in Wild West are not entirely symmetrical. The explosion that frees Ramona from jail actually explodes a bit below the ceiling evidenced by the gunpowder on the floor being lit on fire. The image for the Behead the Undead challenge set is the only image in the whole game that is not used for any of its challenges. By not freeing the girl from the barn in Wild West, you will be unable to trigger the checkpoint for the level. Since you can still play the rest of the level freely, you can push the minecart to blow up the mine and even start the boss fight as normal. The oddities come when you backtrack through the level and free the girl from the barn and then trigger the checkpoint. If you load the checkpoint, the level breaks in several ways. First, the enemies that you left alive after the checkpoint will immediately try to kill you, even though they haven't technically spawned yet. Second, the minecart is now respawned even though the entrance to the mine is already destroyed. Pushing this minecart to the end of the mine shaft will result in the rolling cart sound playing non-stop near the end of the mine. Third, if you trigger the boss fight, the health bar will be visible, but the boss's health will never go down if you shoot him. Punching objects in the game that move when shot causes them to move erratically. When a gunpowder trail is ignited, the fire will not get put out by water on the floor. When you spawn in Wild West, the building right in front of spawn is said to have gambling rooms, but when you are in the building, there are no tables or chairs for gambling on. There are also only two rooms in this whole building. This building is advertised as a bank, but has nothing in it besides one table and one chair. The water from these barrels does not have to touch the fire to put it out. Some zombies in Notre Dame spit at you, and it looks very similar to the paintball cheat. Turning on the paintball cheat reveals they are not actually the same texture. Ah! 
Guards in any level that are standing still move to the right ever so slightly over time. In training ground, if you are playing the shrink game type and are in last place, you can clip out of bounds by just walking under the waterfall. Gunpowder lights up the screen ever so slightly when you fire it. You can complete the first two leagues in the beginner series in last place. This is because the bots have no actual win condition. By placing a turret on the balcony of the virtual tile set, turning around and looking down will lock the player in place and you will be unable to turn left or right. If you shoot a rocket you will enter the undead glitch, although in this version you are stuck in third person. Bullets will also always go into the floor in this state. In Flame Tag, if you take the fire from an enemy as they are dying, they will enter a state where they will never respawn. If an enemy is in this state, no amount of damage will kill them and their hitboxes are also deactivated. Here is also a strange audio bug that happens when an enemy is in this state. In Euphopia, you are able to get on top of some of the UFOs in the map by simply falling on top of them. Ironically, turning the friendly fire option off does not prevent you from setting friendly bots and players on fire. In Chasm, if you walk off a ledge and die in any way before hitting the floor, you will lose more lives than normal. In this case, I lost 4. Chasm is the only arcade custom map where you are able to die from falling off the map. In Virus, by jumping from the top balcony in Nightclub straight to the street floor, bots will be unable to get to you. You must be looking at the balcony as shown on screen the entire time though, or else the bots will clip through the floor and get to you. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it shows me what you think of the video. If you have any glitches that you may have found, please submit them to my Discord linked in the description below. And uh, pie. Yep, I said.